So Denver uh, is my home. You know, I'm fourth generation from here. You know, went to, again, I went to uh, Harrington, then Carson Elementary, then, then I went to Gove Junior High School when there was a Gove, and then East, and my father went to Denver East, a number of my, my, my relatives also went to East, and it was a great school, and it was a school when I was coming through, I had a great group of classmates, and they were actually introducing computers for the first time. And so my computer instructor was telling me about, I was asking, well, how does this actually work? And was telling me about the transistor, and you know, it was developed at this place called Bell Lab, and I found out there was one in Colorado, so uh, Denver Bell Labs. And I called them. I said, I'd love to get an internship. Uh, do you have them? They said, yes, if you're between your junior and senior year in college. I said, well, that's great. I'm a junior in high school taking AP classes just like being in college. And they said, well, no, it isn't. Uh, and I said, well, you know, I'd love an internship. And so I called every day for two weeks. They stopped taking the call after the second day. And I called every Monday for about five months. And one day they called back and said a student from MIT didn't show up. We have an extra slot. And if you'd be interested, we're not guaranteeing your job, you can come and interview. Because remember, they'd never met me. So I put on the one suit that I owned and put $2 in my, of gas in my car and drove out there and got the job and basically worked there for the next almost three and a half, four years uh, as an intern while I matriculated with my degree at, uh, at Cornell. I think they appreciated the fact that I really wanted that job. And I really wanted to, you know, better myself. And they did a fabulous job of putting me with wonderful, wonderful mentors who helped me understand what I call the joy of figuring things out. And uh, that's why we offer in our portfolio companies over 90 internships uh, a year, because I think the intern program is one of the best ways for people to gain experience. And frankly, you get a chance to look at a student or a person who might actually, you know, be a, a very effective uh, employee uh, or leader and manager sometime dynamic that they have to embrace is the pace of change has accelerated. Uh, it truly intellectual property, intellectual capital is now the currency of business. And it is the currency of, of engagement. Uh, the ideas, the thoughts, how free flowing and how quickly they flow and the impact that they have in the communities uh, and businesses in which they operate. They're going to have to make sure they have, you know, their, the facility of their minds have to be, uh, you know, uh, frankly, uh, a, a lot more accelerated and also need to understand the impact of what they say can reverberate a lot faster with a lot more force. So I think those are the things they have to be more conscious of. They have to be conscious of you know, what might be an innocuous tweet in the middle of the night can create massive rever reverberations for, uh, you know, for, for other communities on the other side of the world. So those are the things they have to be conscious of. Now I'm addressing the graduate students. So they've kind of already laid their bets as to this is the profession that they want to focus on. And the real question is, you know, how do you make sure you make a change in the world, in your community, leveraging your profession? You know, if you're an engineer, there are certain things you can do. If you're a teacher, there are other things you can do and different things you can do. And I think it's important uh, that I say, you know, you, you, you pick, a, pick a cause and have an effect, as opposed to meander without direction and just kind of glance through different sets of economic opportunities. But pick, pick a cause and make an effect. So be purposeful. That's what I really want the message to be left with these, with these students.